Asia Business Report. Thanks for joining us, everyone. You're watching the Monday edition of the Asia on BBC World. It's the 20th of May, 2007. I'm Rico Hees. Meanwhile, India is experiencing an infrastructure boom. Highways, metro rail networks, ports, airports, and power generation facilities are being built or overhauled in a bid to attract foreign investments. The man behind much of this construction frenzy is Ajit Gulabchand, chairman of Hindustan Construction, one of India's largest private sector civil construction companies. Nigel Cassidy caught up with Mr. Gulam Chand and asked him what major roadblocks he had to overcome during development. Most of the blockages have been uh, uh, acquisition of land for the purpose of, you know, uh, eminent domain has been one of the biggest blockages in order to go ahead with some of the road projects, for example. The second, there have been some elements of governance issues in terms of uh, uh, archaic methods of procurement, archaic methods of supervising projects that has led to a certain slowdown. But having said that, the pace of construction that you now see in India is way in excess of what it ever was in the last 40, 40 years. Now I know one answer is public-private partnerships uh, like we already have uh, uh, certainly in Britain and elsewhere in Europe. Um, there are problems with these. Have you studied to see those? Could they arise again in India? We, 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 we have studied them and we find that there are risks. However, the infrastructure to be constructed is so massive that a new way of dealing with the situation has to be taken into account. And the public-private partnership of varying degrees from pure construction contracts to completely uh, build, operate, and transfer co contracts in the area of road building, in the area of power, in the area of water, all are in order, are, are, are the order of the day. So unless we go in every different direction, it would be very difficult to fulfill the inf infrastructure needs. Now, one thing that intrigues me about the enormous growth of your company is that you've done it by going for scale, even where you've had to sacrifice profit margins. Now that would be a, a formula for disaster for a construction company uh, in the developed West. Well, let me tell you, uh, when you are looking at a growth of this kind that India has seen, a 10% GDP growth rate, and if you do not keep pace with that kind of growth rate, then you get marginalized as a construction company. So let's put it, it is not that we are scaling up beyond our, our, our uh, uh, needs, but what we are scaling up to finally finding the intrinsic values of the company. So in that context, certain amount of rapid scaling up is inevitable. And if you therefore see, internal accruals have not been sufficient to finance the scaling up, and therefore going to the market for increasing your equity caps in order to feed this growth has been the way to finance it. And it doesn't compare strictly with the Western model where the, 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 the countries are developed and you're talking of creating markets. And there was an exuberance there that, that, that gave way. Whereas here, the amount of infrastructure to be built, the amount of housing to be built is so phenomenal that it would be difficult to go wrong. And yes, you could still turn turtle by making some mistakes, but by and large, not because of growth. Ajit Gulabchan, the uh, CEO of Hindustan Construction Company Limited. And finally, in the markets, Asian share prices are well entrenched in positive territory in midday trade as Wall Street stocks closed up on Friday on takeover news. As you can see in your screens at the lunchtime break, the Nikkei up by 106 points, led by Sony and Sharp. Singapore, 13 points higher. Kospi in record territory. And the S&P SX200 being led forward by mining issues. Those are the markets. Thanks for investing your time with us on the Asian Business Report. I'm Rico Hezon. Have a productive Monday.